Kia ora koutou katoa, uh, Amanda Campbell here from Core Education, uh, Tatai Ahudo. This is the fourth and final webinar uh, to give you some tips and tricks for entering the 2023 Digi Awards. So welcome back. Uh, today's webinar is going to be on the art of storytelling. So I'll just share my screen with you. So the really important thing to know if you've watched the previous webinars is around the deliberate acts of teaching your tamariki and using digital tools in order to, still, to tell stories. Uh, the important thing with today's webinar is around the importance of teaching children how to tell stories well and the process around doing that. Uh, so here is a, a Pixar quote. So no amount of technology can ever turn a bad story into a good one. So you have to have a, a really good, great story <clears throat> to then match the technology to. Uh, you can't just have great technology and a bad story. Uh, you have to have, you have to start with uh, knowing what your story is going to be about and what message you're sending and whom your audience is. Uh, so this is a continuum of choice. This is around how much, <clears throat> excuse me, agency you give your children within this Digi Award process and of telling the story. Um, at the far end there, you see a very teacher-centered, teacher-directed roles and on the other side here we have a uh, very learner driven so a greater range of or greater chance of engagement uh, when you're using the advocate and uh, entrepreneur uh, stages of this continuum so using the design process there are there are many ways in which to teach storytelling uh, one of the ways is through this design process so before you write your story you need to be able to answer or plan these things so you need to emphasize sorry and think about who your audience is uh, who are you aiming this information for what is the story you're telling? And if you know about who your audience is, then that will help you make the right decisions moving forward with the tools that you're going to use. So then you need to define what are we going to do? What are we going to learn about? What skills within our group do we already have? And what skills do we need to develop further? Uh, there needs to be some brainstorming of ideas, what's possible, decide on an idea, lots of collaboration, lots of listening and talking. Then you're going to prototype your idea. So you will uh, start to think about developing your movie or your stop motion or your book creator or your scratch, whichever digital tools you've decided to use. And then you'll test what you've created, uh, show it to others, get feedback, and then edit and make changes uh, in order to produce the best work that you are capable of producing. So there are a couple of storytelling tools that I'm going to suggest today. Uh, there are inevitably a lot more tools around and you can use uh, new ones, try this, or, or use ones that you already have had great success with. So there's this storytelling uh, one here where uh, you can have lots of fun during your literacy time. You can have uh, children in groups of seven and give them this starting sentence that they just have a lot of fun with and they just add, each person adds on, or you can do it individually and ask children to just make sure they start each part of their story with the new uh, prompt. 
This is a fantastic uh, video that I, I really recommend uh, watching. This is from Can, uh, Khan Academy. This is being put together by Pixar uh, that talks about uh, the storytelling techniques that they use in order to put the Monsters Inc. videos together. Uh, very engaging for children. Um, as a Kaya core, if I just um, flick to this and show you, um, the wonderful thing about this website is that um, you can, it's called Pixar in a Box, in the introduction to storytelling. There are different facets of the storytelling that you can click on down the, the the side here and then there are activities to go with it so it can become a, a big part of your uh, writing program which uh, can then integrate into your um, digi award entry so that it's not an additional extra um, korero paki, how do we tell stories? What is the importance of telling stories? So stories have been around for generations um, and, you know, they're so important for uh, remembering history and and telling things uh, from different view, viewpoints and doing so in a creative in a creative way. So how do we tell stories? Uh, we need to think about with our tamariki uh, the importance of uh, planning a great story so that you can take the time to plan, uh, talk about and create. Uh, and there are lots of different models in which you can do that with. This is one of the ones that I've used quite a lot. It's the, the mountain, the story plot map. Uh, where you can have your tamariki follow a plan around uh, following this model of having the, the the background and then rising up the mountain. There's a there's a rising action and then what big thing happens? What problem uh, happens at the top of the mountain and then the falling action and a resolution. Uh, here are some examples of. Uh, the planning. Really important to ensure that your story has been well planned. This will stop your tamariki just ad-libbing within their Digi Award videos. It's very planned, very organised, uh, very practised uh, before they put their voiceovers or what have you to the wonderful uh, digital part of this competition. Uh, the storytelling process, uh, here is another, another great teaching tool. You can teach it in these three parts. Um, have the children brainstorm their ideas and their concepts. Get them to write a script. Uh, draft it out on a storyboard. And you'll see how to do this if you go back and watch the Pixar uh, videos. Uh, they show you how they draft their story out, sometimes even just with pictures, uh, some with words, and you draft that out on your storyboard, and then you think about how you're going to capture that content with what images, what video are you going to include music. Uh, you can record your script as a voiceover, uh, or you can type it if you're using Book Creator just to match images. Then you... In part three, you'll need to edit your media, polish your video, um, add in your effects, and of course, then publish. Uh, this is another model, the importance of brainstorming and making sure that you have a written script so that all children are on the same page. They know what the story is, how it begins, what the middle is, the end, um, and that they've practiced this and they've visualized it and they, they've seen this maybe in written form in a storyboard uh, through practicing and recording and editing. Uh, there's a, a tool called the Story Spine. 
uh, that you can also use uh, in order to tell stories. You can uh, follow these type of lesson plans here. You look at Act 1. So you're going to look at that first part of the of the stages, the nine stages in the story spine, talking about once upon a time or every day until one day. And uh, part A and part B there, as you see, has some uh, things that you as a kayako could teach as part of your literacy program. Then what to do in Act 2, the because of that, and then because of that, and then because of that, uh, so that you're creating uh, a good content to your story and building on onto it. Uh, this is another visual of, um, some children like to see this, this visual, that, you know, the story, like a, a staircase steps up and steps up, and it's because of this that this happened, and it's because of that that this happened, and then uh, the low point, the 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 problem, the challenge, um, and and on here you can see um, three to four sentences for each section is is all that's required. Act three, uh, the the final, so that you're getting to the moral of the story. Um, so here's where you're talking about the crisis and how it was, was resolved. Uh, and in the end, what was the outcome of telling the story? What was the moral of the story? Uh, this is like what's on the Pixar videos, if you watch through those, how they put together visuals on a big board uh, of different components of the story that they're telling and physically move them around and make sure that the story makes sense so that when you put your story together with your digital tools that everything matches up and aligns. Uh, we're going to put on the Grow Wai Taha website a copy of these uh, so the slideshow uh, and you'll be able to click on these links that share with you um, the Pixar story that I told you about some templates that you can use uh, and how to do storyboarding so that completes this webinar I'd like to thank you very much for your interest in participating in Digi Awards 2023 uh, again, I'm available to help you out if you uh, would like help with anything regarding uh, Digi Awards. Most importantly, uh, have fun, enjoy, experiment with your children, uh, deliberately teach the skills that are required to put together a great entry, uh, try, I know how busy Kayako are, so try not to have this as an added extra. See where you can integrate this into uh, the other things that uh, you're doing in your classroom. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, Kakita no take care.